Hey everybody, so I'm just going to quickly go through uh, some, some techniques that I use to isolate and then sort of merge some textures just to keep the aesthetic of the original uh, texture pack but sort of while cutting down on time. So first things first, we need to get that texture. Um, so what I'm going to quickly do is I've got a couple of uh, quick save states here that I'm going to exploit. So this is me right at the beginning of uh, summer. Gonna exit the level. This is just so I can actually get the texture from the sort of, I don't know, cache queue, whatever. Turn on texture dump mode. And as you can see in the background there, sort of from the smoke trail from walking and all that, that's the stuff that's already popped up. And I think I just saw the texture go through, so I'm gonna turn that off and minimize that for a second. And yes, it's this one here, okay? So, quickly maximize and go back to our save state that's in front of this texture. All right, and there we go. You can kinda sort of see it, it is really small. So I'm gonna copy that over to my HD sort of texture pack folder, because that's sort of where I'm working from. And I found a texture in another level I think it was, uh, I, think, I think it was Grunty's Lair around uh, Click Clockwood. That's so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, open it in Photoshop. I've got a finished version here, so I'm just going to, that's the next one. Close that so I can just quickly show you. It's literally just copying and then pasting. Going into where I've put these shortcuts so that I can quickly get through and save this stuff. Uh, it's just in some of those, right? I can't see it because it's PNG. And so you just select the original file and that'll save that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change it just in case it doesn't look right or I need to change it and I need that original texture name reference. I'm just going to put a 1 on the end so that it doesn't draw but then I've still got the name saved in here. So I'll go save. And yes, I don't know what I did there. The original, okay, the original is still in there. I think that might have just flagged up because I don't know if it felt like it had to. So I'm gonna reload the textures now so we can see what that looks like over the top. I'm gonna edit the, these down because there's a few of them and they're just boring and my computer's a potato. And yeah, that seems a little bit bright and vibrant, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pop back into Photoshop and lower the opacity to... Yeah, not too much. Uh, that looks about right. So yeah, 70% I reckon. <sighs> both manual anyway uh, go through the save process again I'll probably skip through this stuff as well because it's just a lot of clicking through my folder structures that I have for this and god damn it again I'm caught off guard by the fact that it's I keep expecting the PNGs to pop up <coughs> so just quickly overwrite that one yes load speed up and there we go that looks a bit more natural and a bit more muted. I might I might turn down the opacity a little bit, but that just... I don't know, that looks kind of cool. So, the next thing I'm going to <coughs> go into is just quickly how I'm sort of matching and color changing. And that was the wrong button. And I gotta wait for it to have a heart attack. We go on, demon. There we go. Now, if I remember correctly, yep. The grass there, you can see the sort of very definite split in between the two batches of textures. So if I go back to over here, I'm just gonna close these because they have served their purpose. What I've got here is these are the background images that sort of encircle the level uh, and I've sort of spliced them together and they all match up edge to edge. And I want to change this image, which is mostly the like this tree bark material and this grass, to the colors. So what I do is I get up the selection tool and I'll sort of draw a thing. But instead of making everybody sit through that, I'll just load a selection that I made previously. 
and that's basically the trees and a little bit of the grass. You don't want all of it because the like the sort of percentage of grass, like it'll basically wash it out completely. Um, because this sort of has a larger percentage, I guess, of grass in terms of like trying to cram it down the color information. There's a lot more sort of grass there than in this one. <clears throat> and what I've also done is I've taken this sort of ledge bit here because that gets really washed out, you'll see. And what I've done is I've basically given it its own layer. So I'll turn that off for now just so you can see what I'm talking about. And I go into adjustments. Why don't I go into that? Ah, because yeah, it wasn't on there. my lap back. But yeah, match color. I uh, actually have variables for this, so I'm just going to quickly punch in. But no, I've never done a variables first, but I've punched in these to do enough that uh, I've memorized it. So, in this image we go summer tree reference, and it's important. Oh cool, it does keep that. And you can already see, I mean, that if it was all on 100, that would be ridiculously washed out. But I'm also going to go merge layer, and I don't know if you can tell, but if everything's set on 100, you really can. It sort of just darkens down the color a little bit, it's not as intense. And also that helps as well. And then you can see under, like down here, this is pretty much like it's got bits that are kind of blinding white, so if I turn that back on, it just sort of evens it out again. So go through the same save, uh, go through the same save process and all that crap. And it's quite easy to, you know, with all the complex names, it's the one with the grass that's still green. Save. Override it. And to reload the textures. And as you can see, <coughs> the colors match quite well into each other. It does look like that's a bit darker, but that's because <coughs> the shading's sort of different on the different textures I've noticed. Like, See, there's some big yellow patches up on the tree. That Those are actually green in spring in that. I've got some screenshots up of that. But yeah, so that's how I'm working my way through and doing these textures. I'm sure I'll find other ways to adjust and improve my workflow. But that's it for now. So I'm going to sign off. But thanks for watching if you made it all the way through. And I'll catch you later.